Good evening, everybody. I can't think of a better time to be making videos about old turn of the century street lights than at night. Here we have a wonderful early 1900s Adams Bagnall alternating current carbon arc lamp running on 120 volts AC. And what's what's the what I'm highlighting in this video is I spent all day building a pole gin and setting this 40 foot wooden pole in my yard to better demonstrate the lighting capabilities of these early carbon arc lamps. I think it's the best, the best thing to me is to see them in use. You know, when you put them in museums behind glass walls and you can't see what they do, it doesn't really give you a good representation of what these things can do. So I'm gonna turn this thing on and uh, continue talking about this and we'll we'll examine the light pattern and see how much illumination a 1903 roughly not quite sure on the date but it's somewhere around there adams bagnell lamp can throw out and uh, kind of give you an idea of what this thing would look like at night if you were alive during that time period so i got my hand on the switch and we'll throw it in in uh, three two one There we go. All right, so let me go out here and see if my iPhone can accurately demonstrate how much light this Adams Bagnell carbon arc lamp would throw in its prime time of the early 1900s. So the pole, like I said, it's a 40 foot pole. It's approximately 34, 33 feet off the ground and uh, the lamp itself consumes roughly a thousand watts and I would estimate it outputs anywhere between 10 to 20,000 lumens. The area of useful illumination at 35 feet off the ground I would say is approximately 100 feet. My phone doesn't really capture the the light pattern that it throws out but I'm actually very impressed uh, no, I've never had one of these carbon arc lamps of mine on a pole at nighttime turned on and uh, it's it's not the brightest light but it is a crisp clean light please keep in mind that when these carbon arc lamps came out the electrical technology was limited to very dim carbon filament incandescent bulbs and then you had gas if you're lucky kerosene most commonly and candles so when these came out you know not many people heard about electricity and it was an extreme luxury the lamps themselves were anywhere between fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars if you adjust it for inflation and required somebody to change the carbons anywhere between every single day for the earliest models to roughly once every five to 10 days for the enclosed carbon arc lamps that lasted anywhere between 100 to 175 hours between trims. So it was a, it was a very, very luxurious item and was very foreign to most people. Electricity wasn't common during this time period. And it was, it was so obscure that I did find a trade journal where somebody, uh, a religious figure, mentioned seeing the first illumination of the carbon arc lamps installed in the village and saying that they were a demonic presence and should be removed. That's how, that's how foreign they were to people. Uh, it, it, it's just, it's really interesting to, to see this technology in use. And it's, it's very difficult for people who live in modern times that take light for granted. You, you flip a switch and you've got reliable, long lasting light. You know, it's something that's very difficult for anybody to perceive. So anyway, this uh, Adams Bagel lamp, 120 volt AC lamp is on this 35 foot pole. and gives you a kind of a somewhat accurate representation of how much light this thing would throw during its time period. 
and uh, I hope you guys appreciate this and good luck collecting and restoring these marvelous lamps. So until next time, bye-bye.